Welcome to Day 3 of the Take Back Your Life, Set Your Boundaries 5-Day Mini Course Challenge. We've talked about the importance of identifying your priorities so you know what to say no to and what to say yes to. And you've pinpointed exactly who is crossing your boundaries and how they've been doing it. In this video, you'll discover the three ways to say no to people. Saying no is crucial in setting your boundaries because that is how you clearly share your expectations on what behavior you will accept from other people. But first, I'd like to talk about valuing yourself. In order to say no to others to establish healthy boundaries, you first need to value yourself. What does this look like? You share personal information appropriately with the people you want to share it with, not too much and not too little. You understand and respect your personal needs and wants and know how to communicate those. You value your own opinions and can express them to others. You believe that you deserve to be valued and treated with respect by others. And last, you recognize that you have the right to set personal boundaries and that everybody else has that right too. Now let's talk about three different ways to say no when someone is crossing your boundaries. The first method is to just say no. No, I can't do what you ask. No, I'd rather not share that personal information with you. And no, I'm not going to loan you any more money. The second method is to give a real excuse. I'm sorry, I have to take Johnny to his baseball game at that time. I'll have to say no because I'm working at home that day. And I won't be able to loan you any more money because you haven't paid me back what you borrowed before. The third method is to be vague. I'll have to say no because I'm busy then. No, I won't be able to because I have other commitments. And I'm sorry, but I'll be doing other things at that time. Even if what you want to do is to be at home in a bubble bath reading a good book or watching a television show that you like or watching a movie over Netflix, you're busy, you're doing other things, and you're keeping a commitment to yourself. Now, people who are aggressive won't respect what you say and won't take no for an answer. If you just say no, they'll continue to push you to say yes. If you give an excuse, they'll say your excuse isn't good enough and you should do as they demand. If you're vague, they'll want to know exactly what you're doing so they can talk you out of it. So here's what you do. Be persistent. Be persistent. Keep saying no, or keep giving your excuse, or keep being vague when you're saying no. Now, do that by using slightly different words. Don't say the exact same thing over and over and over again. For example, this information is personal, and I choose not to share it with you. It's really important for Johnny to be at that game and for me to watch him. And... I have other plans, so I have to say no. They will keep pushing you, trying to break you to say yes. The key is that you train people how to treat you. If you're persistent, they will learn that your yes means yes and that your no means no. Over time, even aggressive people will learn that when you say no, there is nothing they can do to change your mind. Be persistent. When you say no, talk in a clear, concise manner. Be matter of fact and dispassionate, but be firm. Don't raise your voice or be mean in any way. Stay calm and be as nice as possible. Your assignment for this challenge at the end of this video is to write down three situations where you want to say no and how you would say no to that person. This could be a situation in the past 
where you wish you would have said no, or it could be a situation that you know is coming up soon that you need to say no to someone. Your question for day three and what you are to post in the day three post is which of the three ways to say no is the one you believe you will use most often. If you care to give examples, you're welcome to do that. Tomorrow, we're going to discuss more ways to set your boundaries, short sentences and phrases to use to let others know they are not to cross your boundaries. I'll talk with you then. Bye-bye.